Hi, welcome to the Gamesplainer. I'm Jeff the Gamesplainer and today I'm Gamesplaining Orléans. In the game of Orléans, we are all in medieval period France uh, trying to use um, villages and people to create wealth and income and develop the area that we're in. Uh, this is a bag building game. Now, I haven't come across many bag building games, um, but it works just very similarly to a deck building game where you... Uh, if you are on a deck building game, you'd play a card from your hand to be able to purchase another card that's in your deck. That comes into your discard pile and eventually will rotate around until it comes back into your hand and you're able to use it. In this case, we have a bag where you use a couple of the uh, markers or chits that are in your bag to be able to um, grab a different coloured marker from the general pile. Put that into your bag and then on your next turn when you draw more out, you might get that one you just picked up or you might get any of the other colours that are in your bag. So you're able to kind of aim to load up your bag with certain colours if you wish to um, do the thing that that coloured chip will enable you to do. Um, it's a ingenious mechanic. I really, really like that mechanism. And I hope that I um, get to see more games with, this, with a similar mechanism in them in the future. Um, I'm not saying there aren't more around, I just haven't come across them yet and I'm sure that I, I will eventually. Um, this game was put out by Tasty Minstrel Games um, a few years back. It plays from two to four players in, they reckon, about 90 minutes, and that's that's probably fairly accurate. Um, a lot of the gameplay is, um, is at the same time as everyone else, um, so everyone will be putting their chips down out of their bag and kind of moving them around and working out what they're going to do all at the same time, um, and then we take it in turns to actually action those kind of worker placement-y kind of idea spaces. Um, my biggest problem with this game, and look, this is so tiny, but it almost stopped me from buying the game. My biggest problem with the game is this. I don't know if you can actually see it on the camera, but this has really poor definition. This artwork here, great, but the actual printing has poor definition. It's a little blurry um, to my eyes. And if you look on the back of the game board, it's even worse. Um, for me, that's a problem because it says that the producer, the publisher, Tasty Mutual Games, hasn't taken the time to make that really clean. If I'm grabbing a game off the shelf and I see that, it suggests to me that they haven't taken the time with the artwork, they may not have taken time with the game. That's not the case. It is a good game. It is a solid game. It is a game that I heavily suggest everyone having a play of at some point. Um, I, I, as I say, I really do like this game, but that just the definition of the artwork on the front cover in this day and age should be clean. Um, there's no excuses for it. Um, Taste Minstrel Game, clean up your act with your artwork. Yes, your gameplay is wonderful, but please clean up the look of your boxes because it makes me hesitant to purchase the games. And if I'm hesitant to purchase, I'm sure there are many more who are also hesitant to purchase. If you, watching this video, have had those same thoughts, get past it. It's worthwhile the game, even though there's that little bit of, is it going to be okay, or has this been rushed to print? Um, there is an expansion out. I don't yet have the expansion. I have seem to say that a lot. I either don't have it or I haven't played with it. Um, I'm going to get the expansion because I love this game. I think that um, the expansion will add some more depth to the game for future playing. Um, there are a number of ways in this game in which you can kind of pull to the end. There's resources. So by collecting resources, um, they're worth higher values depending on what resource you're gaining. Each has a value in points at the end of the game. Um, there you can develop this map, it's kind of a secondary board or secondary half of the board. If you develop the map and put your little buildings onto that as you move around the map, um, they become points at the end of the game. There are little citizen chits that are dotted all around the board and whenever you go across the spot where that citizen is, you get to pick that up. So you add the citizens to the um, guild halls or little buildings that you've put around the, around the other board. Um, those added together give you an element of your final score, um, and there's a track along the bottom which can be easily overlooked, um, but the further on that track you are, the higher the multiplier. So if you've passed the the two level, which is fairly early on, the that addition we did earlier with the citizen and the guild halls, multiply by the two, that's your final score. If you've got up to the five multiplier, obviously that's going to be substantially higher. So there's many areas of this board where if you ignore them, you're going to lose out on a lot of points. But we don't have time to actually take in 
every section. You're not able to push every element of that up. You kind of need to focus on one or two of them um, and make a decision about which one is the best one to go for. Um, the other thing is when you're grabbing chips, you're getting a bonus that goes that goes along with it. You move along a track and you get a bonus that comes with that. And that's that's a really cool element as well um, and makes it worthwhile kind of looking at the chips that you don't necessarily need that much of, but the bonus that comes with them is really cool. Um, or there might be a colour chip that you need a lot of, but the bonus isn't as great. And it's just finding that balance between the two. Um, I really like that, um, the puzzle of it, to, to work out what, what's the best way to go. Um, and I found that anyone who's played this has really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, and look, I mean, games with bags, they're, they're fun. They're fun. I, I haven't come across a, a game with a bag where I'm pulling something blind that I haven't enjoyed. So, look, I hope that this uh, gives you an idea of Oleon. I hope that you can go on and watch video one to get an idea of the um, the um how the game rules exist and how they sit with each other, and then go on to watch video two for a um, quick play through the first few rounds. Um, if you've got any comments or suggestions, please write them below. Please subscribe to my videos to uh, keep up to date with the games that I'm gamesplaining. Uh, if you've got any games that you wish to be gamesplained, shoot me an email at thegamesplainer at gmail.com. Uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter to see what games I'm playing. And until next time, enjoy gaming.